Hey everyone, I wanted to send this just to my students quickly because I found a, a cool nifty way and an improved way to do a certain thing in my projects. So let's say we have this situation of a list. We have um, a list with items and you have this drop down that you can select items and stuff. So let's say we've got that. And now you've got these actions you can do on them. So enable, disable, delete, etc. So what I used to do was when I say delete, um, you click that, it comes with a pop-up, you say yes, and then it sends an Ajax request. I used to do that, that sends an async request, and then the request responds with JSON, and then in the actual UI, like in your feed list here, this is the feed list screen, over here I would handle the response saying, okay, cool, it returned a success, reload the page. And it just doesn't make sense, it feels very dirty. So what I've done now, which I think you'll really find useful and I find so much cleaner is you add a form with a hidden, um, you, with a hidden field. Cause I mean, there will be different use cases, but in my situation, I just need to pass all these UUIDs. So if you see here, each of these items have a UUID inside it, it's checkbox. So what I do is on submission, I mean, someone selects it, click perform action and then uh, based on the action, I call a certain uh, um, other action to do, delete feed, enable feeds, disable feeds, and I pass all the collected UUIDs. That's not the most important part, but the cool part is, so here in delete feeds, what I do is I've, I select the form that I've got, I set the action, which is a, a view endpoint, so move right, so I've created a, a view here, and that's login required. And then I set that hidden field to all the UUIDs and I just make them a, a comma separated list. And what that does that's so much better is I don't have to handle the response or anything. I don't have to worry about any of that. When I submit, you'll see now, I'll show you on the Django side. I submit, I say delete, I'll just delete one actually, delete one. And you see here, I received in the UIDs and it's just a normal function-based view. I collect all the UIDs, I split them so I have a list. And then I just collect all the items to delete and I get that message unstyled to show up using the messages.success and I just redirect back to the list. And it's so much cleaner than what I was doing with async requests and stuff like that. So I wanted to show this just to the people I've been working with because um, this is a cool little snippet. I'm going to put it um, together a cleaner, more direct video about it and kind of maybe write a short article on it. But I wanted to just send this video out just to show the idea and the concept. Hope everyone's good. Chat soon.